Hello children. Today we are going to learn about pollution. Pollution is a term that you have heard from your very lower classes itself. It's a very big issue that we are facing now. What is pollution? Pollution means spoiling of air, water and land around us. The smoke from vehicles, factories, they pollute the air around us and we know that air is very important for breathing. We need pure air for breathing that is not available to us now because everywhere it is polluted. Spilling of oil when they are taken out from the earth, dumping of waste water into the water bodies, they all pollute the water and in, in turn they affect the water animal. We know that drinking water is very essential and what will we do if it is no, uh, not pure? Can we be healthy? No. Land around us is polluted by dumping waste into the land, low-lying land, dumping plastic into the plastic waste into the land. They all pollute the land. So in one way or the other, we are polluting the everything around us, air, water, land, everything around us. And after effects are faced by ourselves, many diseases affects us due to this pollution. Now let us learn about pollution in this chapter. Pollution can be defined as spoiling of air, water and land. It can be air pollution, water pollution or land pollution. The harmful substances which cause pollution are called pollutants. You have already learned about pollutants. Nuclear power stations also, not only nuclear power stations, all types of power stations, they produce smoke that comes out of them, especially nuclear power stations. Okay, they pollute air to great extent. So let us learn, preventing pollution is not at all possible, but controlling pollution can be done. So let us learn about the different steps that has to be adopted in order to control pollution. The authorities has to make people aware about the importance of preventing or controlling pollution. So the first step that they can do is locating factories away from places where people live. Factories have to be set up because uh, we have to meet the needs, increasing needs of human beings. So factories have to be set up in areas where people are not living so that they are protected from or that people in that area are protected from the smoke and waste given out by the factory. Tall, tall chimneys with, fit, uh, with filters must be fitted in factories so that the smoke given out from factories goes high up in the air without suffocating the people around the factory even it goes if it goes high up in turn if it affects us only but the effect can be reduced as it is not directly affecting the people that's all okay waste must be treated with chemicals not poisonous chemicals but normal chemicals with, without making it harmless so that it can be easily dumped into the water bodies otherwise it makes the water polluted and in turn, it affects the water animals living there. Okay. Then garbage from houses should be thrown in places properly. Don't throw the garbage here and there causing land pollution. Instead, there should be a proper waste management system so that each type of waste can be disposed of separately. Reduce the use of plastic. A very, very, very big problem that we are facing now is plastic. Isn't it? it has its own good effects and it has bad effects also. So once if it is used properly, it is good for mantra. Otherwise, it is a burden for us because wherever we turn, we can see plastic waste everywhere. Plastic has become an inevitable part of our life. Everything is covered with plastic. Everything is packed in plastic. Toys, whatever we have in our house, they have a plastic content in them. So it, is, it has become a part of our life because, but we have to use it properly. That's all. Now, Taj Mahal pollution. This is a, a very important evidence of pollution. We know that this is a very beautiful and important monument that we have ever seen, Taj Mahal in Agra. And uh, that is an interest industrial area and we know that many factories have been located there. So because of the pollution given out by the, uh, given by the factories or made by the factories, the smoke given out by factories, the white color of the Taj Mahal has turned into a yellow shade. And uh, noticing it, many factories have been relocated or closed down in order to protect this monument because it is not applicable that we can build such a monument in future again. That is not possible. Uh, so we have to protect this monument. So many factories have been relocated or 
closed down and many trees from this pictures it is very clear many trees have been grown around Taj Mahal to purify the air around it many such monuments have been protected periodically they are renovated by the archaeological survey of India in order to keep them safe uh, for the future generations also to refer okay so from all these things it's important that pollution should be controlled otherwise everything around us will be uh, damaged even ourselves okay now the best thing that we can do is we can recycle or reuse things okay some objects can be recycled some objects can be reused such object, objects we have to recycle or reuse so that the number of waste that is dumped outside will be reduced this is how rubber is recycled or reused it is not recycling it is reusing used tires of rubber tires can be used to make swing seats like this this i think this is more comfortable isn't it then it can be used to make climbing frames color it and make it into a climbing frame so that children are engaged then it can be used to make slippers or sandals okay then rubber tubes we know that inside the tire we have tubes isn't it the rubber tubes are used to make beads or bracelets or other jewelry okay and old truck tires are which are much more stronger than other tires they are used to make pencil pouches playground surfaces and diary covers several uses are there used objects can be reused in a different way by giving it an entirely different look and appearance now metals metals can be recycled okay especially uh, roads then sheets and all gates they are all collected from scrap dealers and this scrap can be either reused or they can be recycled by melting and giving another shape okay many people buy uh, objects like rods pipes uh, gates and all from scrap dealers and they use it again reuse it again okay then craftsmen they buy scrap and they melt and they uh, make decorative items with it jewelry decorative items and all with it then with a uh, metal sheets with holes if there are holes in the metal sheets we won't use it again isn't it so that sheets can be used to make cage or racks to keep things arrange things then uh, empty aluminium cans can be cleaned shredded and melted into a new thing okay uh, then every car that we have every new car has some recycled part of an old car everything that a new car is having is not new it can be used from uh, an old car okay so in that way metal objects can be reused and recycled again and again so that the waste thrown out is reduced otherwise everywhere wherever we look we can see so much of waste dumped isn't it so that can be reduced by recycling or reusing things especially plastic plastic bottles we have seen during these lockdown days many people have made beautiful colorful gardens from plastic bottles isn't it pepsi coca cola and all the bottle big bottles they have used it to plant uh, uh, flowering plants isn't it? that's very beautiful we can reuse it again as well as it adds beauty to our house so such ways should be adopted in order to reduce the waste so that we'll get a safer and purer earth in future because it is our duty to hand over a pure earth to the uh, future generations because they also have to uh, have the right to live properly on earth so uh, as you are coming generations you can take different initiatives to control the pollution so i hope you will uh, take it into uh, consideration and you'll uh, think about it you will read your textbook and you will uh, adopt some methods to save our earth from pollution so read your textbook children thank you thank you so much